Welcome back, everyone. And as you know, better late than never, Mm -hmm. because that is where we are at. Yeah. You know, who knows? Maybe we're in a different timeline where we already did this show. And Mm -hmm. what if we did it again? Sorry. Yeah. Hey, no, listen, the dad puns must happen. I try. I try. Yeah. So I am currently so, crashing from all the caffeine I had today, but I'm here. So Yes. And he's here. He's ready to roll. We are talking what if episodes one and two, mm-hmm. and then we will get you episode three as soon as we can. Listen, yeah. life is getting in the way, but we are excited to still mm-hmm. be talking about it. And, uh, yep. you know, because Marvel's throwing a lot at us again. And uh, especially yeah. right now, going into the fall, through Christmas, all that great stuff. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm going to take time off work to, to catch up. Yeah, I mean, why not? It's understandable, I think, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sounds good to me. So we're talking about what if. We're going to talk about both the episodes. And in case you don't know, um, what if is about, like, what if something different would have happened? Uh, there would be a different timeline. There would be different um, different events that may have happened if things worked a little bit differently. So we're really de- diving into the multiverse mm-hmm. here a little bit with uh, with Marvel Universe. And I'm not really sure if this is just going to be kind of its own thing or if it's going to be tied into the MCU as a whole. Not sure yet, because as we know, multiverse stuff is happening. Mm-hmm. We saw it with WandaVision. We saw it with Loki. Um, so we'll, is, we'll see what hap- what's going to be happening with this. But that's what What If is yeah. about. Yes. What If is about, yes. Exactly. And there's a guy called, the, what's his name? The Watcher? Mm-hmm. That is narrating. And he's saying, here's the stories. Enjoy. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then so with What If, we're going to be getting a bunch of different stories. And uh, with the first two episodes, the first episode, which we'll get into here, is about Captain Carter. You see right there in the front mm-hmm. where Peggy Carter gets the super serum. You see uh, a Black Panther Star-Lord to mm-hmm. the back left there and that was the second episode and then all the other stuff you see on there we don't know yet i have no idea this is part of the marketing so it's out Mm -hmm. there so we'll see what all that stuff you know comes out to but uh but gary so first episode the captain carter episode uh what'd you think sir um i thought so i really wasn't sure what this was about Mm -hmm. um but i heard people talking about it so i was like all right i'll check it out you know it looks very interesting and that's exactly what it is it's an interesting concept that whole, because we all have that conversation, you know, what if this was different? What if this was different? Or you ever think of this? And uh, I thought the first episode was pretty good. Um, We basically, it was, what if Captain America was super Captain Woman instead of Steve Rogers? And and that's basically a story. I don't know if we're spoiling things or not, but something happens where she jumps into the serum machine time Mm -hmm. thing instead of Steve Rogers, and she, she becomes... Captain Carter. Yes. And uh, it's an interesting take. It's basically the first Captain America movie done mm-hmm. in 45 minutes, but Captain Carter instead of him. Yes. <clears throat> yeah. And that's pretty much what the first one is. And mm-hmm. like, I know for me, as I was watching it, uh, pretty much what you said, it was Captain America first Avenger in 45 minutes. And uh, mm-hmm. that, that's the part that kind of got me like, I really hope all of these episodes aren't like this mm-hmm. uh, because it's just kind of like, man, I just, like if that's all it is, we're just gonna swap characters mm-hmm. and then just retell the story again. I'm like, that doesn't sound too yeah. fun, you know. Yeah. And I mean, they did do one thing that was pretty cool. Um, obviously, if it's Captain Carter, it's not Steve Rogers. What happens to Steve Rogers? I will say they did something that I thought was pretty clever with him. However, the excuse the excuse they had for why Peggy Carter became Captain Carter, I thought was extremely weak. Yeah, <laughs> P- pretty lame when it comes down yeah, to it. it. Was. And I was just like, really? You still, so really because of that decision, she becomes Captain Carter when it still could have easily been Steve Rogers. It just didn't, mm-hmm. like that just didn't work for me. I didn't like it. But I will say what got me to episode two though is because the animation mm-hmm. I really liked. It's very uh, well done. Yeah. And, and I, I, what I liked is just that it, it feels like you're watching a comic book, mm-hmm. which of course, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse was the first one that really did that well. Now this doesn't look like that, but it's it's similar in tone. They definitely mm-hmm. have their own style, but similar in tone. So I was like, listen, animation alone, I'm gonna keep watching this before, you know, because I plus I also have a, a two episode limit. You gotta impress me in two episodes, mm-hmm. or else I'm out on your TV show. <laughs> and so the, also on principle, but um, but the animation was good. I mean, the story was good, but it was already told before. 
And that's kind of what I thought of the first episode. Yeah, pretty much the thing that's uh, what you said, the thing that saved this episode for me was what they, the decision they make with Steve Rogers, what he gets to do. I mm-hmm. thought was pretty cool, but uh, you're right. And it's not, I didn't even think about it. Well, we were at lunch the other day and I was like, yeah, I thought it was pretty good. And you told me about how she, you know, you reminded me of how she got the serum. And I was like, oh yeah, this episode kind of sucks, huh? <laughs> yeah. it really does change yeah. the whole thing but you know and and uh and i really hope this episode like this episode makes me think hope that this is just a standalone legit what if and we don't get to see i don't need to see a captain carter movie even though right. i thought she's you know captain carter is fine i thought he's better than captain marvel but, yeah that's you know, for sure i'd rather see her than captain marvel so yeah so. yeah no i mean like her like Peggy carter has always been an awesome character Mm-hmm. And then having her have the serum, I guess that's my thing. Is like I wish they had a better excuse. Yeah, it wasn't her. for her to. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't her at all. It was the reason why she got the serum. I thought was lame. So therefore, it kind of made it like, oh well, her existence as Captain Carter's kind of lame. Like that's what it was. Like it wasn't her, but she was still the character. She was still awesome, and the actress, I uh, forget mm-hmm. her name, that plays her voiced her in this. Mm-hmm. And so like it still was like very well done. It just that and mixed in with like it was pretty much. Captain America First Avenger. I mean, look at this. I mean, it's literally yeah. the same exact shot from it the movie. Is. They just um, switched out her. There were some really good stuff with Howard Stark, too. You know, yeah. As he claims he's he's just a guy that presses buttons. You know? Mm-hmm. I thought that was funny. They kept referring yeah. back to that. So. Yeah. And the whole underlying thing is, you know, she's a woman in the 40s. Mm-hmm. And they treat her as such. And, yeah. you know, there's a few times they say, you're lucky to even be in the room. And that's the whole, like message of this episode you know right and which even then it's like we we still had we still already saw that story play mm-hmm. out in captain america first avenger yeah and and in, and in the uh if you watch the peggy carter miniseries like oh, we've yeah. already saw okay. that story play out oh, that's why it was a show yeah you do carter i forgot about that yeah i think it was like six episodes or so mm-hmm. seven i can't remember it wasn't much but but yeah so it's like you already kind of saw that storyline her proving herself yeah like happening and so like when we already saw that story play out um with her without the super serum is like then what did the super serum really add to her character mm-hmm. and that's why i was kind of like uh then that's why i wish they would have had a better reason on why she got yeah the serum because then i felt like it would it would have at least added why she's doing everything she's doing mm-hmm. yep so and that's where so i just i mean in the first episode's kind of short too so i guess that's kind of where we're at with that one um yeah yeah it's one of those things i came away from was like okay that was that was fine it was a nice little thing to watch but it wasn't like oh my gosh awesome you know yeah 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 and and maybe if you guys watch it maybe you guys will feel the same way um as you guys are watching maybe go back and you're like oh yeah okay i see what Efren gary's talking about like it yeah it was it was fine you can definitely tell it was the pilot right the show starter yeah. like hey look at the cool stuff we can do and look how pretty it looks. But mm-hmm. we'll dig into the next stuff in the next episode, yes. which they did. They which did. the second episode was mm-hmm. what if uh, T'Challa mm-hmm. was kidnapped by the Ravagers and he became Star-Lord. Yeah. And, uh, and I thought that reasoning on, on why he got captured, why he became Star-Lord actually made a lot more sense because mm-hmm. you know more about the other characters involved. Mm-hmm. And uh, and I did like that. I thought that was that was pretty cool. Yeah, this episode and, and the way it all it was believable that this could actually happen, mm-hmm. you know. And he makes one decision as a kid, and he gets mistaken for Peter Quill, mm-hmm. and and it hilarious stuff ensues. And he literally the whole what if of this changes everything, yeah. you know. Um, and it creates some really hilarious and interesting moments. Yes, you know. This was this was a yeah. while the first episode was like I thought I I thought this was a great episode. I, this was very yes. good, very entertaining. Yes, you know? it it really was. And then like what you said, like how this changed everything. This is the kind of what if I expected. Mm-hmm. Like th- these events happen, and look how much changed. Mm-hmm. Right with the first episode, it was like again nothing really changed. You just mm-hmm. kind of okay, it's not Steve Rogers, it's Peggy Carter, and it's like okay, like that to me was like kind of a waste. They could have done better. This one I thought they hit it out of the park with that like mm-hmm. everything changes i mean even that the guy he's punching right there i mean that's the collector yeah the collector's huge he's this big mm-hmm. like underbelly crime lord now he's because a big of, bad pretty much yeah, he's yeah. a big bad and, and what he has done you know what t'challa has done with 
the Ravagers and so many other things. Like you do see like, wow, because of his ideals and how he was brought mm -hmm. up, you know, in Wakanda, he brought that to the Ravagers and brought this sense of family, which was really cool. Oh, he's a, he's a how he changed everything. Yeah. Yeah. He's a peacemaker. And, and that's where, and, and you look at the difference between him and Peter Quill. Um, and, you know, I'm a huge fan. I love Guardians of the Galaxy, my favorite non Avengers Marvel movie. But Peter Creel is a shoot first, ask questions later type of guy. Mm -hmm. So he brings chaos with him, where, you know, he is the opposite of that. He brings peace, you know? Yep. And so you see the ramifications of both. Yeah. And then speaking of, of peace, I mean, and this is where, like, maybe I think you're right, Gary, where this is probably just kind of a one off, like, hey, we're just giving you this for fun to mm -hmm. hold you over till Shang-Chi comes out. Mm -hmm. um because of because yeah. of this right here because again it changes everything and we get this a kindler <laughs> gentler thanos <laughs> <Favorite part. laughs> yeah <laughs> and uh and there is some hilarious stuff with this yeah. you know and, and obviously he changes you see thanos's mind yeah by just having a conversation with him yes and realizes that hey your whole mission in life just don't do it <laughs> you yep. know yeah, and then and then like Nebula's changed, like mm -hmm. Drax has changed. I mean, there's just so much. And this is how to me, when I first saw What If advertised, I'm like, this is what I expected. Yeah. Was this kind of ramifications of a change of mm -hmm. different characters, of things kind of worked out differently, how the universe would, would be different. Mm -hmm. And so obviously because of this happening, there is no infinity war. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and and like and again, this isn't th this like, I don't feel bad talking about this because this isn't the point of the mm -hmm. show. Like, yeah. this isn't the plot. This is just a little mini side thing. And you can still enjoy it because there's a lot they do with this mm -hmm. and with Thanos that's really fun and you really need to go watch it and yeah. and enjoy it. it. Really but, like, just the ramifications, it's like because of this one mistake of picking up the wrong kid and the fact that he was out, you know, because of a decision he made to be kidnapped, look at how this changed the universe. Mm -hmm. And so I, saw, I was like, this, this is what I was looking for. And it's interesting because, like, um, oh my gosh, Michael, the his name escapes me. Rurik, uh, Rurik, Rurik. Michael Rooker, Rooker. What is his name in the in the movie? Uh, um, they cannot. Uh, anyway. Oh yeah. The yeah. the character you see him turn into in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two, he's pre he's already there in this episode. Mm -hmm. like he has, you know, he, you know, that's that's his son to him. You know? Yondu, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't believe I was, you know, which uh, he he's an awesome character anyway, and he's just even better. He's great in this, and mm -hmm. you know, if you like Guardians of the Galaxy, you'll love this episode, and yes. you like Black Panther, you know. So. Yeah, and, and it was great, and uh, so these two definitely got me on board. I can't wait to watch the third one. I will be watching it tonight. I, I mean, you know, or tomorrow, either way, because we got a review to do. But we will be yeah. watching. I'm looking forward to the third one. I heard the third one mm -hmm. uh, is pretty good. Um, they they take this what if f even further. So I thought it was. They, I hear I hear it's good. So hopefully it truly is. But yeah. um, but this is more of what we. Mind. Yeah, and this is more of what I expect out of what if. And and I'm with you. This this, this needs to be its own one off. Here's yeah. something for fun. Yeah. To enjoy. Don't tie it to the MCU because there's a yeah. lot of ramifications of it. Mm -hmm. But um, but especially with that second episode, it was it was worth the the 30 minute watch or whatever it yeah. was. Very watchable. Check it out. Yeah. And then uh, join along with us as we continue watching after however many episodes this one is. I'm assuming around six because that's what the other yeah. ones were. Right. Um, and we'll talk about it some more and let us know your thoughts as well. Comment, subscribe, like, we'll be let us know. We'll like we did Loki. Yes, hopefully more consistently Consistently now. Yeah, yeah. We're back on, we're back on track, folks. There we go. So we will see you guys. Uh-oh. <coughs> oh, God bless you. Uh, thank you. Jeez, heart stopped. Anyways, thank you guys. We will All see right. you next time. See you.